What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're breaking down the woods location in Escape from Tarkov. This video took days of work to piece together, so if you like it, please hit the button, let me know in the comments, sub with the bell, or share the video with a friend, I would really appreciate it. I've also done interchange and reserve, so you can find the links for those in the description and at the end of the video if you're interested. First things first, and long story short, the cardinal directions are actually opposite of what they should be, but for the sake of everybody's sanity, I'll go along with it until it's fixed. If you are standing on the docks at the log camp and looking at the lake, that is north, in turn making back south, right east, and left west. If you want to know more about this, this, ask me in the comments. The map is split in half down the middle for the spawn areas, having them start equal distances away from the log camp and wrapping around the edge of the map. The map itself is an oval with no extras, so if you just stick to a wall or the edge, you will circle the map eventually. Now for the landmarks. Moving clockwise, we have the UN Roadblock, RUAF Gate, Rubble Field, Sniper and Overlook Rock, Log Camp, Beach Rock, Dead Man, Outskirts, Scav House, Bunker Rocks or Eastgate Rocks, Checkpoint, Dickhead Rock, South Vehicle Exit, Sniper Scav, Spine Rock, Plane Crash, IED, and Old Station. In terms of key landmarks, we have the Lake, Factory, and Sniper Scav Mountain. If you can't see any of those, you're either in the woods around the plane crash or in the outskirts. Just keep walking, you'll see at least one of them quickly. Now that you know where you'll be once you spawn, let's talk about finding your exit. No matter where you spawn, you will have to cross the log camp to get to your exit, with the only exception being the vehicle exit. If you get lost, the worst case scenario is to just keep in mind where you spawned, then move to, through, or past the log camp. Then stay along the water and follow the wall on either side until it brings you to your extract. Just be sure to be careful around Sniper Rock on the west side and Dead Men on the east. This route is the lesser of two evils. The same goes for the other side without the lake, but it's a bit easier to get lost because of the trees and there's a lot more sneaky scavs over there on average. Make sure to double tap O to see your extracts. The specific extracts if you spawn on the east will be RUAF Gate, ZB016 Bunker, UN Roadblock, Old Station, and West Border. The special extracts are going to be Gate to Factory, where you will need to have made friends with a friendly player scav if you are a PMC, so you know, good luck with that. The South Vehicle Exit, where you'll need 3,000 rubles. And Mountain Stash, where you'll need the Red Rebel Ice Pick and a Paracord, as well as no armored vest to exit. You can still wear armored rigs, by the way. If you spawn on the West, you'll have the Boat, Dead Man's Place, Outskirts Water, Outskirts, Scav House, and East Gate. The special exits will be South Vehicle for 3,000 rubles, ZB014 bunker where you'll need the key, and sometimes you can get the mountain stash exit too. A side note here is that you will not need the equipment if you are a scav. All in all, the only difficult bit in terms of getting lost is the forest around the plane crash because it's hilly with lots of trees. Essentially, it's actually easy to realize that you're there because if you can't seem to see anything but trees and hills, then you know you're there as there's no other area like that on the map. Just wander around until you can see plane crash or the open field to the northeast. Alternatively, if you just spawned and you see piles of rocks with a low wall that's not up on an embankment and you can't see a mountain, you're in the outskirts, so be on your toes because that's a bad spawn, but we'll get more into that in a second. You're guaranteed to get into a fight around the log camp every raid because of the shape of the map and with it being the choke point in the center. When it comes to buildings, there are several, but none are significantly important or intricate. There's a safe in one of the scav huts and some scatter weapon boxes too. We call the only big building with walls big blue or just blue, then the others we call open red close or open red far. This is going to be either referring to the distance to the group or sometimes referring to the distance of Big Blue. The three huts we just call out depending on our position like close, middle, and far scav hut. And speaking of scav huts, there's also one off alone in the woods between Beach Rock and Dead Man that usually has some attachments spawn in there. People call this either scav hut or scope hut. Now we're going to get more into detail. First of which is the scav boss, Sturman, who rocks an SVD and an AK along with two raiders. He tends to hang out around the scav huts in the log camp and also has a stash that's unlocked with a one-time use key you can find on his body. There's lots of danger areas and choke points on this map. If you spawn around the outskirts, you need to immediately assume somebody is watching you. If a PvP player spawns in either of the western outskirts spawns, they can set up nasty ambushes, and if they have thermals, you are kind of screwed, so keep that in mind. The most common tactics are for players to jump onto or sit around the bunker rocks to the south, as well as dead man's or maybe go right to beach rock to the north. This is known as one of the worst spawns in the game due to the need to push through large open areas with players already on the other side and if they're not farming they'll be waiting for you. Spawns in general are very close on this map so overall you will need to watch your back immediately and for more info you can check out my video on how spawns work in EFT in the description. The area around south vehicle exit is treacherous. If you move through east to west there's a thick wooded hill underneath scav mountain that has amazing sight lines so most of the time expect to find people camping it. Sometimes we just go around completely because it really is that bad. The most common sniping spots are rocks at each corner of the log camp. You have Dickhead at the southeast, Spine southwest, Sniper and Overlook in the northwest, 
and Beach in the northeast. All of them have their advantages, but Overlook and Dickhead have the best sight lines in my opinion. There's also Sneaky and Sturman Rocks on the opposite sides, which have their advantages, but it depends on the situation. That's it guys, if you think I missed anything, let me know in the comments. It wouldn't be the first time I've completely remade a video because somebody's had a good point. I hope you liked the video enough to hit the button. Let me know in the comments, sub with the bell, or share the video with a friend. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.